Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Williams versus Smith. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Williams, you say you knew Miss Smith 24 years ago when she was a promiscuous party girl. You are furious that after a chance meeting 20 years later, she is now claiming you fathered her adult daughter, Alexis. Miss Smith, you say there's no doubt Mr. Williams is the father of your daughter and you told him as much 24 years ago when he chose to ignore you. You say the plaintiff is claiming ignorance in order to make himself look better, but you intend to prove him wrong today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Williams, why do you say it's impossible you are the father of Miss Smith's daughter? Your Honor, it is highly impossible that I'm the father of Miss Smith's daughter for the simple fact that she was a party girl back in the day. Miss Smith was very promiscuous, but at that time, we were just partying. We were having fun, enjoying life. You know, we were young. How were you enjoying yourself? It was, we was never in a relationship or anything. We would just hook up, have a few drinks and stuff, you know, uh, we'd probably go back to my place or wherever, 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 whatever was presentable. And uh, we'd have sex and stuff, but, you know, other than that there, there was nothing... We were never in a relationship. That's the bottom line. Well, you say it's impossible you can be her daughter's father, but from what but, you no, just described, it sounds like it is possible no, you could on. be her daughter's Let father. Let me show you something. Let me show you something here. You brought some evidence? Oh, I got some evidence. Okay. I got some evidence. You know why? Because I practice safe sex. Oh. That's why it's impossible. Oh, That's you're saying that you use protection? Yes, I use protection. When you slept with her? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. So, that's good. So now, Miss sex. Smith, when you were having that sexual relationship and having a good time, did you use protection every time? No, we didn't. No, we did not. That's a lie. That's a lie. You honor? No, we didn't. That's, this girl lies a lot. This young lady lies a lot. He did not use protection. He knew I was in another relationship. I never and I did claim to him and told him it's a possibility that Lexus could be his. You I just... did tell him. No, you didn't. And then a couple of years later, I didn't see him no more. I didn't see him no more until Lexus turned, what, 24? You knew, you, knew, you knew where I stayed at. No, I didn't. Yes, you, you did. Had, yes, but you I, did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. You knew so where what I happened three years ago? She was up with some more friends of mine, partying. She was, like I said, a party girl. And, um... They three years ago, still partying? Three years ago, yeah, I yeah, was party. not partying three years ago. Three years ago, I was in the church, shouting, changed my life and everything. Still part, still so party. I don't know what he do. No, I don't. Still partying. She may not now, but <coughs> that's how I found out about the baby, about the, the young lady who was supposed to be my daughter from some friends of mine. So wait no, a minute. Back in, the, back in the day, you were never informed that she was pregnant? I was never it... told about she was pregnant. <laughs> she never told me anything. Until, like I say, friend, friends of mine came and told me that's, that they say, you know, uh, somebody named Gin and Juice? I'm saying Gin and Juice. Gin and Juice? Yeah, who in the hell is Gin and Juice? And so the guy say, Virginia. I said, Virginia? I said, yeah, I know a girl named Virginia. You know who I, you know, had dealing with back in the day? Well, they said, my son, well, she said she got a baby for you. I said, well, Virginia lying. I don't have no child from Virginia. Miss Smith, was that you, Gin Miss, and Miss, Juice? Excuse me. Yes, Your Honor, that's the name they used to call me, yes. <laughs> okay. I won't ask no questions. That way you don't have to tell me no lies. I'm not gonna tell you no lies. All right. So I won't ask why they called you that. But anyway, Mr. Williams, three years ago, you start hearing rumors. Rumors about I had a child, yeah. Then uh, we saw each other on the bus at that time. This was around around about that time, too. And uh, she was telling me that uh, your daughter want to talk to you or something like that, I said, what do you mean? My daughter won't talk to me. Who is you talking about? She's, I'm still trying to figure out who is she talking about. I still, still didn't know no name or nothing. And so uh, she gave my number and said, call me. So, okay, I called her. Miss Smith, did you run into him on the bus? I've met him on the bus, and he asked me, how my daughter doing? I said, she's doing fine. When Lexi got back here and I allowed him to move back, he came to my house to see Alexis a couple of times. No. To my house. One time. More than one time, one twice. One time, and then me and Derek came one this past December. That's twice. And how did the visit go? Uh, we uh, talked. I said, well, your mama said I'm your father, but your mama lied a lot, and I told her, that's what I told her. She, but she started saying, well, you the daddy. No, I'm not the daddy. I'm not, the, I'm not the daddy, baby. So you came all the way over there to tell her that you were not her biological I father? I come to look at the child. 
They always, they always say you, you can't can do that. You can't ate with us and everything and jiggle with us and talk. Yeah, I mean, I'm... And I'm, you I'm, asked me, could you stay I'm over there for that night? Well, and I told cordial. you no. So get it right. I was going to be cordial, get it right. yeah, because I'm not get that type right. of person. Hold on, cordial. hold on. Alexis, I want to hear from you. Was this the first time you were ever told that Mr. Williams was your biological father? Uh, besides with the day that they, seen, that they seen each other on the bus. Until then... You had never known Mr. Williams was your biological father? I only heard his name one time. In your life? Yes, ma'am. Who did you think your father was? I called my granddaddy and my uncle daddy. Wow. Okay. So how did you feel when you finally heard you were gonna meet your biological father? Happy. You did? And you felt happy? I was excited. I'm sorry we had to go through this, him, but it's, it's... Ain't no, there's no possible way you can be my child. So, wait a minute, Miss, Mr. Uh, Williams. Before you get to that conclusion, I want to hear from Alexis. I mean, you're... At this point, you've never had an opportunity to meet your father. How did that visit go for you when he came to visit? I was excited. I enjoyed the time. Um... Um... We Take talked. me back to that day and tell me what happened. Um, I was coming home from work, and my mama told me that my daddy wanted to see me and talk to me, and I said, okay. When I got there, he was already there. Um, we hugged, we talked, laughed a little bit. Um, we had dinner. Not one time did he say he wasn't my father. So you felt like, in that moment, your daddy had come to visit you? Yes, ma'am. Did you feel a connection like he was your dad? Yes, ma'am. I didn't want to hurt the child's feeling. We all have feelings. And then I, I, I just couldn't hurt a feeling. I couldn't hurt my child, her child, anybody's child feeling. Just say, oh, well, I'm not your daddy, you know. But since I got to this point, I'm telling her now that I'm not, I'm not your father. I mean, it's the bottom line, I'm not your father. From one parent to another, um, I don't think that is my child. And I'm, I'm, I'm adamant about that now. So, Miss Smith... I want to know from you, why did it take you 21 years to tell your daughter That's what, what I father know. was? Me and her talk, and I told her, I say, it's a possible this person might be your dad or this one. It must be that one. When did you tell her this? I told Lisa that she was young. I talked to her. Then I just let her went by. Because at the end of the day, I took care of them anyway. I got four kids. I took care of all four of them. Four kids? I, I, I didn't put... Which she I'm not pending no, on no, 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 no man, no, no, him. No, the daddy. No, sir. See, there you go lying again. I'm not lying. No. I figured that it was no. Mr. Williams on. Yes, I did. Figured and knew. Figured if it's knew. Mr. Williams or somebody yes. else. Are there any other options, ma'am, besides Mr. Williams? It's one more. There you go. All right. Just one more. There you go. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out if it's my child or not, which I don't think... I, no, it's not my child. It's not my child for the simple fact. What, per, what woman in their right mind waits... 21 years, then bring something up like this lady. That's foolish. That's ludicrous. I want to run all over our land and try to find you. You knew where you knew where well, well, you were coming to the house. She got her. She had her mama. You coming to the house? You knew where well, well. She had her mama. She's my concern. Sure. This is right, what we're but, about right here. Right, but mom, listen. You cannot deny the part you've had to play in this. You right. Let's not just put it off on Mr. Williams. I the ain't truth is, for him. 21 years. You, you basically got off with just saying your father is one of two men. And, I mean, she's standing here now, and God bless her, and she's saying, you know, my uncle and my grandfather gave me the love I need. My mother loved me, so I didn't grow up because I, I hear a different story more often than that. I mm -hmm. hear I grew up my whole life wishing I knew who my father was. Mm -hmm. And everybody else at school had a father, but I didn't have a father, and that bothered me. Mm -hmm. The fact that she's saying I got the love that I need is a beautiful thing, but... At the same time, Mom, you had this information. And it still and was hard, but... Not thank... Mr. No. Williams, after you reconnected with Ms. Smith and Alexis, Alexis met your daughter. Mm hmm And your daughter's name is Derricka. My daughter's name is Derricka. She's actually in court today. I'd like to hear from her. Jerome, will you please escort yes. Derricka Williams into the courtroom? I'm gonna have you go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Hi, Ms. Williams. Morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. As you know, we are 
talking about the paternity as it relates to Alexis. Right. And we understand that you are Mr. Williams' daughter. Yes. And I would like to hear from you personally what you feel as it relates to the paternity of Alexis. Do you believe Alexis is your biological sister that you share a father? No. I do. Look at the two of them. Look at the two of them. They don't even look alike. So, I do believe that Alexis is my sister. We look just alike. We act alike. We have the same personalities. Like, just... She was all sad and stuff. Just look at us. It's just a connection that we have. It's... I really do believe she's my sister. I know that there's some doubt or, you know, maybe some things didn't go right back 24 mm. years ago and, you know, her mom didn't tell everything. But when I called her, um, I let her know who I was, that I was Derek's daughter and that I wanted to get to know them and see if it was, if they were my family. And ever since the beginning, they've been there. Well, since we, I found them or we found When did other. you find them? After they met on the bus, um, my dad was calling Miss Smith and she wasn't really responding. I think she had maybe gotten to the hospital or something. Um, but when I called her, she actually answered, and I told her who I was and um, that I wanted to get to know Alexis. And we exchanged numbers, and ever since then... I gave you the number we've to been call her, because she gave me... One, her Alexis one gave me the number, and I gave it to you and told you to call and talk to her. Because, uh, like I said, she's not my child, and that's Your the bottom Arlene. line. You can look at the photos and tell there's something there, something. Yeah. You see the cheekbones, <laughs> the And eyes. so, why do you think your, your dad is, does not believe... Well, Alexis is his biological daughter. Due to... Apparently, Miss Smith was promiscuous. And also, when we did go to her house, um, because Alexis did do my hair one day, um, I came down to Florida, had some family to Christmas see, Eve last year, this past year. Um, she did my hair, and we, we were talking with her mom, and she did say that she didn't let any of her kids know, let the dads know that she was pregnant when she actually got pregnant. So, you know, who does that? I don't know. So, I... Alexis, you and Derica have formed a real sister bond. Does that feel good? Yes, ma'am. Does that make you even more nervous to find out whether or not he's your biological father because it places at stake whether or not you truly are sisters? Yes, ma'am. It okay. made me nervous, got butterflies, but... What have you learned about Mr. Williams through your sister? He loves her a lot. He cherishes her. That's and my you baby. say that with tears. That's my baby, And now. why does that make you feel like that, honey? Because I never had that. And that's something you want as well. Yes, ma'am. And you deserve. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna deny she deserves to know who her dad is, but hey, it's need to find who the daddy is then. Well, one thing about this courtroom if you find the courage to walk through those doors, you're gonna leave out with the truth. That's what we do here. That's why we're here. I think they look alike in the face. Oh, hey, my. He tries to deny it. We don't look nothing alike. This whole area right here, especially when they smile. Look at the like, face, no cheeks. You they got look big like cheeks twins. I don't know what Listen, eyes he's viewing out of. Listen, but... Mr. Williams, you have been adamant that you are not Alexis's biological father, but you have also said that you participated in the type of activity that leads to making babies. Well, yeah, yeah. And therefore... <laughs> I believe we have heard enough and I'm ready for the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Williams versus Smith, when it comes to 24-year-old Alexis Smith, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. You... are not the father. There you go. I rest my case, Your Honor. Look out. You are not the father. Do you, can I give her a hug? If she will allow you. Look out. I'm sorry. But, hey... It's out of my hands now. Only God can help you. Your Honor, I know who her father is. I know who he is. What the? I'm talking about since he said that since it ain't him, I know who the other guy is. You do. Him and I do. She 
here. Do you know where he is? Yes, ma'am. Alexis, do you know who this man is? You don't have to say who he is, but do you know who he is? You do? I, I don't... I don't believe it. But you don't believe he's your biological father either? Why, honey? We don't got no bond. We don't got nothing in common. We barely talk. This other man? Your mother was honest with you and told you this could be your father, too? She told me about him, but I don't see it. You don't see it? Alexis, I know you were hoping, and I know I'm sorry, Derek. I know you all had formed a bond, and you still have that bond. I know. Okay. So now, where do we go from here, family? I think Mr. Williams, Ms. Smith, they've gone on to live better lives. Mm -hmm. And now they're able to better help you find the missing puzzles of your life. Mm -hmm. You are worth it. It is not your fault. And you deserve to have answers to these questions. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We have counseling and resources for you all. Please take advantage of it. I wish you all the very, very best. Court is adjourned.